you doing? Have you done something fun yet? Oh, let's do something fun together. That was Magnus putting his input. I'm going to have a go at these. If you saw my last video, you saw when I unboxed them. And they are so cute. So first of all, I'm going to do this one. And I'm just going to do two because I want to save one of these to figure out um, making more of them with the wire that I have. I've got loads of gauges of wire, so I'm sure I've got one that's the right gauge that I can make some more of those of. Um, but that I'll figure out in a in another video or or off off camera. Okay, but I'm gonna make some pegs. Yay! I'm gonna start over here, and I'm just gonna let some. So I'm going to use V-Resin pour out. Okay, and I'm going to start off by mixing some blue in there. Oh, need to open it. Oh, there we go. Now, okay. Right, I'm just going to scoop a bit out. Not too much. Maybe one more because it didn't scoop out that well. Yeah, that looks about right to me. And then fasten that up because otherwise it'll go everywhere. So I'm going to mix this up and put it in the first peg. Oh, that makes a lovely blue. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. Trying something different today. Going to try and talk during my talk live rather than recording afterwards. And see how it goes. If I don't like it, I'll change it. Okay. Pour it into the peg. Try not to get too many bubbles in it. I can always get the bubbles out with a pointy tool afterwards. Yeah, you don't want it to go over the top. Because this is one part of the peg and then that's the other part of the peg. By the looks of it. going. Hopefully I've made enough. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Difficult for me to see the screen as I'm going. Right, let's do the other side. I think I've done enough. If not, I can always make some more up. I think I've done enough. Place. I don't mind it leaving itself out. Oh, might just be sure. Might just have to make a little bit more. Put some way over into that one. Ah, not doing a very good job with this. Get it evened out now. 
this is a tricky bit is making sure you've got enough in both sides and not too much in one I'm just going to turn it slightly so it's easier. Can you still see? Yeah, just about. Put a little bit more in there. Yeah, I shouldn't need much more than that, to be honest with you. Uh, literally the tiniest bit of this. There we go, right. What I'm gonna do is mix it all in, bring it all in, and hopefully then that's enough. love this colour. I summer and I love this colour. There we go. I'll say that's about right. I'm just going to tap that down. There's a bubble just there, which I don't want. Right. Yeah, come on that. Just make sure this is all nice and even. go right yeah happy with that i think that's about right just gonna clean my tools off two seconds here with a bit of wet wipe okay clean up this area slightly it makes it easier so i don't have to peel it off at the end and then click this up. There we go. Right. Now I can bring over my trusty handy dandy. I'm going to put it on for. 90 seconds and I'll see you in a bit okay so that's all done and let's see if I can demold it and hopefully there's no bubbles oops yay that looks perfect oh awesome Awesome. Right. Let's put this one together. Ah, that's how it goes. Okay, so that side's in there. That needs to go in there. And then... Right, which side? This side, sorry, this side needs to come out there and round to this side. 
So I need this side out there. And then round to can you can do it round to there. There we go. One legal bag. <laughs> yeah. One little oh that snapped off right. I might have to glue it into there. But yep, that's the principle. Cool. First peg. Done. First peg. Done. <laughs> Won't show you the gluing bit. I'll do that in a bit. Okay, going to make another one. This time... I'm going to use, obviously, some more of that. And I needed a bit more than I thought, didn't I? And all said and done. And I'm going to use... some of this awesome foils that my oh, oh loads of it it's popping out oh this is going to be fun right let me put my gloves back on and we'll have a bit of fun with this <laughs> there we go I think we can just put the lid back on that one and save that for later. <sighs> My puppy's crying. Shush, shush, shush. Go seeps. Seeps. It's a good boy, go seeps. It's a good boy. What? Go seeps. Can't cuddle you while you're with the, I'm doing this. You have got to stay over there. No, I can't. Right, got my gloves back on. And. And I just put some more of this in. Seems a shame to waste it. And there we go. We're going to mix it up into here. There we go. Let's see if we can get it into the peg. I'm just going to move this across a little bit. There we go. I'm going to put it in this one because I didn't clean the other one out. I really like this mould though. This is good fun. So be nice and quick and easy to do. And you can find lots of uses for it, I'm sure. But what I'm going to use my first ones for is my next video when I do pictures. I'm going to use it to hold the picture up and use it as a bit of a stand for the pictures. It should be really nice. So 
think this is going to turn out really nice. Right, it's time to... They're all cured. Let's see how they turned out. Hopefully no bubbles, fingers crossed. Oh, cool, they've come out together. Oh no, I didn't clear the top very well. Okay, I'll have to do some cleaning up of those. Not too much though. But yeah, oh, there's a little bubble there, I think. Can you see it? I think it's inside, so it should be okay. Oh, and there's a little bubble there. Yeah, it's usually the way it happens with the, the glitter. But, well, overall, it looks okay. Does this one needs cleaning up a little bit. See if it'll pick off. Probably won't, but I don't think I'm going to have to cut that off. Okay, no problem. Do that in a minute. But yeah, that's turned out beautifully too. Really happy with that. And this was my just leftovers. So have a look and see. Oh, sorry, not the camera then. Yeah. Oh, in fact, I think that's turned out even better. Slight dip in there where there wasn't quite enough, but yeah, might actually use this one. I'm going to do any cleaning up on that one. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I'm going to glue them, glue the metal parts in, and I'll be able to show them you both together in a second. See you back in a minute. Bye. And I'm back and that's that done as you can see I've now glued them and they work perfectly as pegs I just used I basically I just domed the sides with some uh, more UV gel Magna Shush I know I'm not cuddling you hold on let me get Magnus because he wants to join in. It did take a little bit of doing, a little bit of finagling, but yeah, they work perfectly. And that's how I want them to be. Oh, sorry, not the camera again. I will get a better camera set up eventually, but for right now, this is what I can afford. And there we go. Two little pigs. Two little pigs. Two little pigs. I like them and they're going to be great for my next video with the photos. Okay, I promised you another project, so let's get on with it. I put my gloves back on. Excuse my nails, I know they're awful. That's why I'm buying a nail kit, but they've all my nails popped off eventually. It took a couple of days, but I was quite impressed. They lasted more than a day. Um... I've got Magnus. He wants a cuddle. Oh, he's normally asleep when I do these, but for some reason today he's decided to be awake. And he wants a cuddle. I'm just going to pause and give him a cuddle and see if he'll set down. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back. Magnus has finally calmed down. After a nice cuddle. Um, if you want to see my, my puppy Magnus, he's got his own channel where he opens my fuff boxes. So um, I'll leave that in the description below. I can enjoy that. Right. He knows I'm getting tired. That's why he's complaining at me. He thinks I should take a rest. And I probably should. Okay. Just going to pop my gloves on. I've decided what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to make this my last project now. Well, I did say I was going to do the two. I wasn't expecting the pegs to take that long, to be honest. That's why I was, I planned a second item to do. But here we go. Promised you two, so I'm doing you two. Here's the second one. Right. I'm going to do, this is a... Um, a lighter blue well it says golden blue so I'm gonna try a lighter blue but I want it even lighter than that so I'm gonna put a little bit of white in there as well 
and then I'm gonna again use this gorgeous sorry trying to get you a picture of it purple glitter because oh it was lovely right here we go um, I'm gonna put the white in first my powers are in first so oh I've got to open this sorry but we'll be two minutes okay that's that open right just gonna put oh I don't know well not that much in <laughs> maybe a touch more not that much but you know touch more right that'll do Get that bit out. okay let me just wipe my scoopy out don't want to cross contaminate i've always got a set of wet wipes next to me because you never know when you're going to need them. And I've got to open this one as well. Oops. That went everywhere. Oh, well. Yeah, that is a lighter colour. And it's got like flecks of gold in, which will go perfectly with this one. Let's have a go with that. I'm going to put quite a bit of this in. Because I do want it vibrant. All right, that's off camera. There you go. Put the lid on because I have a tendency to spill things. I always like to put the lids back on just to be on the safe side. All right, just going to clean my scoopy out. I like to clean my tools as I'm going along and then I haven't got a big clean up at the end to do. And now to put some Sufi Jovi UV resin in. I think this is one of their older bottles, but it's still the same stuff, so should be alright. Okay. I mix this up and I'll be back. There we go, I've mixed that one up. Really happy with the colour. Shush, oh, my goodness. Oh, I know, I'm supposed to be taking a break, I know. Right, let me finish this one and I'll take a break, okay? No promise. Just let me finish this one. You cut up and cuddle. There we go. You cut up and cuddle. Right. Okay, I'm going to make some of the purple now. There we go. Is this bottle nearly done? I do go through resin so in chronic. That's because they don't measure properly. I really should measure things and I don't. Right, okay. Let's just take a pinch of this and put it into there. And then we're going to do the fun bit, which is the, the making it and putting it all together. Right. As I can see. I've just decided I need kisses in my face cleaning. I know, I guess. Shouldn't really be over yet, should you? Hey, no. Shouldn't really be over here. You're making an exception because you're making such a noise. Right, let me just clean 
Mr. Sirk. And get this one stirred up. Right. There we go. Let's get all this glitter in there. There's no point in wasting any of it. There we go. I'm going to mix that in. I might even lay some on the top, but you don't know. See how it does. And it all gets mixed up. There we go. I want it to be kind of see through -y. So I don't want it totally full, but it's breaking up. So as you stir it in, it break, those big pieces break up into smaller pieces, which is the effect that I want. For this, it's not always the effect I want, but for this it is. Okay. I think that's where I want it now. Right. So, let's clean that off a bit. Roll it round in the... There we go. Right. Here we go. Okay. I want the head and the main body to be blue. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come in with a bit of that for the face. Because I want that to be for the face. And I'm going to come in with a bit of that for the tummy and the tail. And there we go. Right, and then fill the rest of that up with this. about where I want it to be. Yeah, I am going to give that a quick shazam with the UV light and I will be back. Okay, done this one. Slight problem. There's a slight defect with my mould. I've got a slight hole in there. Which I pulled this off during curing. I noticed it as I turned it over. Hmm, might be able to fix that. Might not. <laughs> we'll see. See what it's done to this when I open it. Might have to speak to Sophie and Toffee about that. But their customer service is excellent, so I can't see a problem with them sorting that out for me. There we go. Oh. Yay, look at that. Oh, that's wicked. Oh, I love that. I think that's mixed quite well. Obviously, I'm going to be doming this side. I think I'm going to put a little sparkly on his eye. Yeah. Happy with that. Oh, it's a shame that that didn't go through, but no, nah, be all right. You'll be all right. I like that very much. I like that just as it is, let alone with the straw. But, yep, we'll do the others and see if I can't put it together. I'll be back when I've finished. Bye for now. Okay, so here are my finished products. This is the straw minder. I've got a straw right now, but I've got one of these diamond painting sticks, which works the same. It holds the straw really well. And yeah, I really like it. What do you think? And of course, 
Those are the finished bags. Awesome, huh? Yeah, love it. And that's everything. But before I go, the next time you don't like some the way someone looks, just remember, when you take away all the squishy parts, we're all just skeletons, aren't we? Try being kind. The results might just surprise you. Thanks for watching. Bye.